Hello my sweethearts, this is Miss Faltis and our story today is Harry the Happy Snowman and the Lost Mittens. Tofu, stop throwing snowballs at me, stop. But that's how I play with the snow. I love making snowballs. Tofu, it's five days until Christmas, come. I'll help you make a snowman. No, we made a snowman last Christmas also. Harry will be upset then, Tofu. Don't you want Harry the snowman to be happy? Harry the snowman? Who is he? I'll tell you Harry's story if you help me make a big lovely snowman. Okay, Tia. Tell me the story and let's start making Harry also. Harry the Happy Snowman Five days before Christmas Eve, Santa was working out in the gym. Practicing his techniques to dropping down through chimneys without getting stuck. Santa has quite a possibility of that. Suddenly, one of his reindeer's donor came running in. He seemed rather distressed and worried. Santa, Santa, hurry, the snowman has run away. I am panicking. Calm down, Donner. There is nothing to worry about. I'll personally sort out Harry's problems and bring him back home, safe and sound. Donner, alert the elves and begin a search whilst I head back to my sleigh. Santa took off to the skies to find Harry. One place as he looked down, he saw Harry alone in the snow, heading away from Santa's village. Harry! Harry! Can you hear me? Santa pulled down and landed just beside Harry. But Harry ignored the Santa and kept walking. Jump aboard, Harry. Get back in, Harry. But Harry kept on walking away. Santa shouted again, Harry, please listen to me. Talk to Santa. Harry slowly turned around. Look the Santa with tears in his eyes. Harry, my dear. There comes a point in everybody's life when we feel like running away. But that's not the answer. 
that's not the right thing to do. Please tell Santa your problems. Harry looked at Santa and broke down. No one ever listens to me. No one has time for me. I am just a stupid, worthless snowman. Nobody loves me. Santa walked up to Harry and hugged him. Harry, my boy, you're not worthless. Dry your eyes. Wipe your face. Come, I want to show you how important you are. Jump aboard, Harry! Ho, ho, ho! Harry looked at Rudolph. He had his head hung low. Rudolph, my boy, take to the skies, I ordered. Let's prove to Harry how important he really is. Rudolph smiled and looked at Harry. And off we go. Ho, ho, ho. As they traveled around the world, Santa showed him millions of snowmen, all built by children having fun with the help of their family and friends. Look Harry, building snowmen bring people together. Harry, imagine a Christmas without a snowman? It will be incomplete. No fun, imagine our family without you. Rudolph, take us home, I command. Let's go. While the mood changed in the sleigh and everybody was happy, they approached the North Pole. Look, Harry, they looked down of the sleigh and could see written in the snow in huge letters, Welcome home, Harry, we love you. Everybody from Santa's village was there too, to welcome Harry back home. This made Harry so happy. Everyone clapped for Santa. Harry could have made a big mistake by running away. But that's not the answer. Just talk to someone and you'll find the ones who have time for you. Who truly care. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Thea! Merry Christmas, Harry! We all love you! Always be happy!